I think it's 1973, there were two women who headed up a committee, and the committee was on the House Beauty Salon. Fast forward 50 years, and for the first time, women will be at the helm of Congress's extremely powerful committees on appropriations. In the Senate, Patty Murray is now the chairwoman, and Susan Collins is the top Republican. In the House, Kay Granger has the gavel, and Rosa DeLauro is the ranking member. They certainly don't agree on everything, but these four women have one thing in common. They are trailblazers. Oh, man, when I came here, there were just a handful. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had to prove ourselves in every single room that we were just as capable, which is why maybe we're better legislators. These committee leadership positions, known as the Four Corners to Capitol Hill Insiders, have the enormous power of the purse, tasked with the must-pass appropriations bills that keep the federal government funded. And now these veteran lawmakers are in the middle of a bitter fight over government spending in a closely divided Congress. It's really a difficult time. We can make it through, but I absolutely am convinced we have to stand together. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy made concessions in exchange for the gavel that would slash discretionary spending, putting child care and paid leave policies at risk. It's our job to make sure that doesn't happen. It really, because there's a lot of thought that was put in to get to this position and to really help women. The $1.7 trillion funding package signed into law last month expanded resources for pregnant women and new moms. It's progress all four lawmakers are vowing to build upon. Do you think that men being in power often overlook those issues? I think men do see those issues because we push them really hard. But we have to remind them constantly that these are front and center and first priorities, not last priorities. Well, I think every issue is a woman's issue. So whether we're talking about national security or child care, women are affected. Across Pennsylvania Avenue, new mom Shalonda Young is the first black woman to lead the Office of Management and Budget. I came to this town the summer of 2001 uh, and men held every one of those uh, budget jobs, including my own. Where she'll work hand in hand with the four lawmakers, just as she's done for nearly two decades as a staffer on Capitol Hill. The historic nature of it should not be lost. However, those women uh, are tough as nails. Since the U.S. Congress first convened in 1789, nearly 13,000 people have served as representatives, senators, or both. But out of that number, just 440 women and more than a third of them still serve today. I remember when I first came to the Senate, I was 99th in seniority out of the 100 members. Now in the new Congress, I'll be eighth in seniority. And with seniority comes more clout, more influence, more knowledge. And it also comes with more responsibility. We address every single issue that comes before the national security of this country, and if you do not have bicameral, bipartisan support, the government shuts down. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.